Our Bible reading for April 26th. Our reading today is found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 27. He entered Jericho and was passing through. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. When they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded any one of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. As they heard these things, he proceeded to tell a parable, because he was near to Jerusalem, and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately. He said, Therefore, a nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom, and then return. Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten minas, and said to them, Engage in business until I come. But his citizens hated him, and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. When he returned, having received the kingdom, he ordered these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained by doing business. The first came before him, and saying, Lord, your mina has made ten minas more. And he said to him, Well done, good servant. Because you have been faithful in very little, you shall have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, your mina has made five minas. And he said to him, You are to be over five cities. Then another came, saying, Lord, here is your mina, which I kept laid away in a handkerchief. For I was afraid of you, because you are a severe man. You take what you did not deposit, and reap what you did not sow. And he said to him, I will condemn you with your own words, you wicked servant. You knew that I was a severe man, taking what I did not deposit, and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money in the bank? And at my coming I might have collected it with interest. And he said to those who stood by, Take the miner from him, and give it to the one who has ten minus. And they said to him, Lord, he has ten minus. I tell you, that to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for these enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slaughter them before me. Some thoughts on today's reading. It is said when a child imitates a parent that, in their ways of their behavior, good or bad, that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. When children follow after their parents in manners of disposition, we find this truth. When a child grows up and displays acts of kindness, just as the parents have done, we know that the influence of the parent has taken hold. Quite the opposite can be true as well. If a child shows the same characteristics of anger and short temper in the way a parent does, this shows us that the door swings both ways, so to speak, with good and not-so-good mannerisms. Our passage today tells the familiar story of Zacchaeus the tax collector. Jesus recognizes a peculiar faith in this man by the efforts he makes to see the passing crowd of which the Savior is a part. Jesus invites himself to dinner, of which Zacchaeus gladly receives him. The statement which Zacchaeus makes, Behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much, does not tell us that if he, in fact, has defrauded anyone, or if it is an attempt to refute any accusation that the Pharisees were making against him as a sinner. What we have is evidence that Zacchaeus had heard Jesus speak and had responded with righteous living. Romans 10.10 tells us, For with the heart man believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. An amazing feat by Zacchaeus because we are told in the beginning of the narrative that he was rich. Further, if he has defrauded or cheated anyone, he is willing to go beyond what the law called for and repay them back. Numbers 5, 7 tells us, Then he shall confess his sins which he has committed, and he shall make restitution in full for his wrong, and add to it one-fifth of it, and give it to him whom he has wronged. 
To all of this, Jesus responds by declaring that Zacchaeus is a son of Abraham. Like Abraham, Zacchaeus acts by faith, and as such, salvation has come to his house. With such sacrifices, the Father is pleased. The question of the day, what kind of faith leads someone to make a statement such as that which Zacchaeus made? And a thought to meditate on this day. Abraham's faith is spoken of many times in the Bible. It is a faith that caused him to believe in God's promise without wavering or hesitation. Those are our thoughts for today, April 26th.